guys, Coaster Channel here, Doncaster born, but built for theme parks, and welcome to a theme park news update. Is it just me, or is Six Flags putting a coaster in every single park next year? <laughs> Um, Six Flags Great Adventure, they are the next park to be getting a somewhat new roller coaster. I wouldn't say new, I'd say re-themed or reimagined. But you know Six Flags, they love to brand stuff as new. Even Larson Loops are branded as coasters over there. And um, yeah, Great Adventure are getting a new coaster apparently for 2022. And this is all to do with the Road Runner Railway. Now, I'm going to talk about my thoughts on this and share uh, all my uh, sort of, you know, feelings about this. So, before we get started, guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click that case bell so you never miss YouTube video. Uh, go in the description down below for social media links and Google Forms. It's very important that you subscribe as well. We're on the road to 3K subs and a million views. We're almost there on the views. We're getting there on the subs, so please, 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 let's keep that up, guys. And for now, let's have a look at exactly what's going on with Six Points Great Adventure and their brand new 2022 coaster. So, looking at this little CCTV footage, diggers are on site, and a uh, little thing in the distance there of the old Roadrunner Railway Station, which I want to talk about a little bit right now. So Roadrunner Railway first opened at the park in 1999. It's a Zamperla Family Gravity Coaster ATSTD model uh, with a length of 262.5 feet, a height of 13 feet and a duration of 40 seconds. Now the Roadrunner Railway and three other rides are closed during the construction of Jersey Devil Coaster. Uh, now it isn't known at the time if this will return in 2020. However, we have seen some stuff from behind the scenes at Great Adventure that track piece has painted orange has started to be built now i'm going to share my thoughts on what this could mean right now so there we are ladies and gentlemen thrill seeks of all ages that is a little bit about roadrunner railway's history and uh, a little bit about what's going on at the construction site lucky number 14 now there's only one prediction here for this a jersey devil themed kids coaster a little devil a little devil a little jersey devil uh now obviously roadrunner railway was closed along with three other attractions uh for the construction of jersey double coaster however i do see this reopening in 2022 this little kids coaster here and i see it reopening as uh little jersey devil or little devil or little jersey or whatever it's going to be called uh, a Jersey Devil themed kids coaster just to round off that whole plaza area and I think this will be a wonderful addition to the park I think it's gonna be great. I think it's gonna be a nice uh, Welcome addition to great adventure. I was kind of hope I was kind of expecting um, I'm not gonna lie. I was expecting Bugs Bunny National Park to be rethemed into Bugs Bunny Boomtown I'm not gonna lie to you here for 2022, but I mean whether they do that as well I don't know. I, I, I've got no idea mate. I mean, I, I, it's not out the regions of possibility that great adventure you know, rethemes a kids area and brings back the Roadrunner Railway as a Jersey Devil theme. You know, it's not out the realms of possibility because all you're doing is just bringing back a coaster that's been in storage for the last year or so. So, you know, if you if you paint it all, make it all, all nice and shiny, put it all back together and stuff like that. You know, I I have got no hindrances of that. I've got no kind of cautions with that. Uh, they can also retheme a kids area if they wanted to. Obviously, we'll keep our eyes peeled to see if they are going to do that. Uh, at this stage, we haven't seen much from Bugs Bunny National Park in terms of it getting a retheme into Bugs Bunny Boomtown, but like my prediction suggested. But obviously, like I said, we'll keep our eyes out. Obviously, at the end of July, we're going to bring out our final predictions videos for Six Flags, Cedar Fair, and Millen Entertainment. So stay tuned for all of that. Um... And it's going to be interesting. It's going to be very, very interesting to see what's going on. But great adventure, the next to get a coaster. So let's remind ourselves, shall we? Magic Mountain, over Georgia, probably Fiesta, Texas, maybe Frontier City if they're getting the relocated Goliath from Six Flags New England. Now Great Adventures, five. Discovery Kingdom, delayed, six. v -Pair, seven, delayed. Aquaman Power Wave, eight. So which parks are missing here? Great Escape. Darien Lake, um, St. Louis, uh, Dis no, not Discovery Kingdom. Why well, I say Discovery Kingdom? They're getting so on Safari. <laughs> uh, America. Um, I mean, people are going to have to probably remind me in the comments down below here. Uh, New England. Yeah, that's true. New England. Um, and there's, I think there's one more. There's definitely one more. Um, I'm trying to think now. Mexico. That's the one. So, New England, Mexico. Uh, Great Escape, uh, America, 
Um, St. Louis, so they're, they're getting the Catwoman's Whip delayed from uh, from the previous couple of seasons. Um, and yeah, and, um, <laughs> and um, yeah, so that, that, I mean, there we go. That, that's five of them that I just named just now. Uh, but there we go. I'm trying to think, I'm trying to make sure I rethink the six in my head. So St. Louis, Great Escape, America, Mexico, New England, and Darien Lake. So those are the six that are not getting coasters right now. I think they could do something. I think I think all those parks could end up doing something. I don't know why, I don't know how I think that, but I've just got this feeling that Six Flags wants to try and pull it out of the bag next year with any kind of thing that can call. And I'm not just talking about traditional coasters. I think they'll try and do anything to call them coasters. They might put a screaming swing in somewhere and put it on, do it like a world's first type of screaming swing where it's on a track. And it's like a, a swing ride, but on a coaster track. And they'll call that a coaster. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, I'm probably thinking outside of the box here, but Six Flags will try and do anything to call them coasters. But I've just got this feeling, you know, and I think Destination Thrills put it on Twitter, is it, it, it feels like there's gonna be more coasters to come. Um, so I think Six Flags is gonna try and put coasters in every single park, in at least one in every single park for 2022. I've just got this gut feeling, so. I mean, it could be a very exciting year for Six Flags next year. Um, I mean, I don't know what the debt situation is with Six Flags, but I mean, they're not really bothered about that. They're going to put coasting in every single park. So it's going to be very exciting. But thank you very much, guys, for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And for now, my name is Coaster Shell. Keep it on the coast of life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a Jersey Devil-tastic day. Rawr.